Okay, so what we're going to go over here is uh, some step-by-step -step instructions on how to download and install uh, my map set, Ibicus Topo. Uh, same instructions apply for the U.S. maps, which are uh, street maps, or more or less the same instructions. You should be able to adapt them. Okay, so probably the easiest way, not necessarily the best way, but the easiest way to get the file is to just go to my website, go to http slash slash www.ibacus.com slash ibacus topo. Okay, once you've gotten there, scroll down to the bottom, read through uh, some of the legal details. Uh, it just explains that these are uh, based on government data, um, what you are and aren't allowed to do with them. Um, and then you see the coverage maps. Get down to the bottom, and here you'll see uh, two different versions. Uh, one is an ISO file. Uh, if you know what an ISO file is and you know how to use it, I recommend you download that version. If you don't know what an ISO version is, I su suggest you download the second version here. Um, the reason will become clear later. So you can click on that, and you can download. Uh, wait a second for the uh, download to start. Save it somewhere where you're going to be able to find it. Hit save, and, we, and away we go. Now that would take uh, a total of about 11 hours to download if I were to let it go. Fortunately, I already have the file, so we don't need to do that. Okay, now, I mentioned that that wasn't necessarily the best way to get the file. The reason being is uh, these files are very, very big, and if there's any problem at all with your connection to uh, my server, they won't download, um, which is not good when you spent 12 hours trying to get the file and uh, you know it uh, dies with 10 megs less left to go and you have to restart all over again. So what I've done is I've set up a uh, BitTorrent tracker for it. Um, so if you go to www.utorrent.com Okay, and click on the big green button here that says Get MicroTorrent. Micro, that's the funny looking U is for micro. Download that, and you can hit Run here. Okay, Run. Go through with all the default options. And now you have on your computer a BitTorrent client. Okay, now that doesn't do us a lot of good without the, uh, the torrent trackers. Uh, those are the files which tell the client where to get the file. So if you go into your favorite search engine and type in Ibicus Topo Torrent, okay, you'll come down and you'll see a whole bunch of hits. Um, they re doesn't really matter which one you pick. Um, best to pick one that says zip version on it. They all really point to the same spot, so don't worry about it. Torrents tend to be mirrored six ways from Sunday to make them really hard to get rid of in case it's illegal content someone's trying to ban. Okay, so this, is, this by the way, as far as I know, is perfectly legal. You don't have to be worried about it. Um, I'm, so, and you come here, hit download this torrent. If you've installed the torrent client, you'll get uh, a box somewhat like this appearing. Hit open. I'm actually already downloading the files, uh, and uh, you notice we've got two versions downloaded. You only need one version. I'm downloading them both because uh, I lost uh, my original copies of what's on the website, and I figured it'd be a good idea to have uh, to have another version downloaded. So I'm not going to make you wait for this to download. You notice it's got another four or five hours left to go, which uh, would be an awfully long time. So we can close that. Okay. Now the way torrent BitTorrent works is uh, it's a it's my one of my dogs there isn't he isn't he a handsome boy? Um, so the way it works is kind of a peer to peer uh, file sharing software. Uh, so while you're downloading, you may be uploading to someone else, and it should go a lot faster. It should also be a lot lot more reliable than trying to get it from my from my website. Now, what I've done here, um, I've gone and downloaded the file and unzipped it. Now, oops, I put, picked the uh, ISO file by mistake. I did this on purpose because uh, some of you undoubtedly will take the ISO file before you uh, watch this little video and go, oh shoot, now i got to re-download the whole thing again. You don't. So, uh, to get around that, there's a few things. So, you can either 
there, the uh, recommended approach would be to uh, burn the file to a DVD. Now the key is this is a, this is uh, an image file, so you have to burn it as an image. Um, how you do that's going to depend a little bit on the CD burning software you use. Um, I use uh, Nero quite a bit, so you can come here and do make data DVD. Now what you don't want to do when you come in here, when it comes up, you don't want to just take this file and drop it on there. That would be a bad idea. What you'd end up with then is the ISO file on a DVD, which wouldn't do you a whole lot of good. So hit back here. Uh, no, you don't want to save the project. And come down to where it says image project or copy. So what you want is to go from a disk image or saved project. Select Ibicus Topo 2.1. Open that and uh, just hit burn. Now I'm not going to burn it because I've already got plenty of copies of the DVD. So when you burn it, you'll end up uh, with a DVD filled with files, and it should be a setup.exe file. I'll show that to you in a minute. Now, if you uh, if you have uh, if you don't have a DVD burner, you have trouble with that. You, all is not lost. You can go to www.7zip.org. Go to where it says download right at the top. Okay, download the file. Do, do, do. Go run. File. Do install with all the default options. Okay, now that we've got uh, the ISO file downloaded and we've got 7-zip installed, you notice there's a, an option here that says 7-zip. Select it cross to where it says extract to Ibicus Topo 2.1. Okay, now I've already done that because it takes a while to do. So you come in through here. This is the uh, folder. Open that up and uh, you'll see a file here called setup.exe. This is exactly what you'll see on the uh, on the DVD if you uh, choose to burn it. So you can go open the setup.exe. Would you like to install Ibicus Topo 2.1? Yes. Now we've got the license agreement, which uh, I encourage you to uh, read over. Basically, uh, short form of what it says is, if things go wrong, it ain't my fault. I've had lots of people use it, though, and I've never heard of any uh, really serious problems. So accept the license agreement. Hit next. Select where you want to install it, hit finish, and then we wait. Okay, now while we wait for that to install, there's a few things uh, which we can go about doing. I mentioned, uh, well, which I haven't mentioned yet, but uh, these maps install themselves into MapSource. Now, if you are one of those people who don't have a version of MapSource, and that includes uh, Trip and Waypoint Manager, by the way, they're both basically the same thing. Um, if you don't have that, you can still get a copy off of Garmin's website. Now what you have to do is first download Garmin Training Center. Now what Garmin Training Center is, it's designed to be uh, to be used with uh, some of their uh, more fitness-based uh, GPS, the Forerunner and the Edge in particular. So download and install Garmin Training Center. This will install a uh, basically a base map for you. Now, MapSource doesn't like MapSource update doesn't like uh, installing without a base map already installed. Um, so, if you just try installing the MapSource update by itself, you'll end up with problems. Okay, so don't do that. First, install the. Uh, the Garmin Training Center and then install MapSource update. Okay, and when you have when you've installed one and then the other, okay, you should get a working version of uh, MapSource and Training Center for that matter. Um, if that kind of thing is of interest to you, I'm not going to wait for those to download because I already have.